Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ranked TFT with Rhapsody and me on uh, th Thursday. <laughs> we'll just assume it's on Thursday. <laughs> we'll, it's a Thursday for recording. We can assume it's a Thursday when it goes up, too, right? Yeah, team, that's Team Fight Thursdays. Uh, brand new update. That's definitely the reason we're doing it. Probably not mm -hmm. just because we're both looking for another reason to play this game. Yeah, exactly. When it encroaches enough on our free time, we suddenly have to find a way to justify it as part of the it. business as well. Exactly. I have to monetize this. Yes, people would love to watch TFT. I need to monetize it. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. <laughs> another lies I tell myself. Uh, but <laughs> uh, do you want do you want to give the first crash course? Let's like do a a popcorn tutorial on what team fight tactics and auto chess games are. Let's just sure. like you so, you start and I'll take take over randomly. Sure, auto chess auto battle games uh, require you purchasing units of different costs, combining them with items or units themselves of the same type to get greater effects, and positioning those on a battlefield to automatically battle against your enemies. Yes, that's. I mean, I was gonna take over, but it seemed like it was kind of generally done correctly. I'll do the dumbed down. <laughs> how about I do the dumbed down version? Everybody's playing an idle game against each other. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm in. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I was thinking about that because you play you play quite a few idle mm -hmm. games, so it, it it seems like it makes a lot of sense that you would be into this it, as it well. It really does. I am a big idle game fan. I, in fact, I currently have an idle game running on the other screen called NGU Idle that I was gonna yeah. check in with in between rounds. Yeah, in between rounds in the video. Oh, you know, you're saying at the end of the. <laughs> That's no, some dedication. That's some dedication. Oh my goodness. I need to get my Titan loot. Of course, Titan loot. Titan loot. But Look, if I don't get my Titan loot, if I don't kill Gordon Ramsay, the chef multiple times they're over so that I can get multiple different versions of the meat cleaver and the sausage suspicious necklace, how am I going to get the full item set and get the 2000 EXP that I need in order to get more magic bars? I wouldn't Come even on. begin to know how to answer how you would do that. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I just love how absurd most of the game yeah, sounds. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, but I I don't know. I There's something about this. I think it's because it is... Idle game esque, but compiled down very tightly. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost, I don't know. Like I, I, I always want to say it feel. It feels like a roguelike, in a sense. Like if, because it almost feels like it's not multiplayer because nobody's controlling the pieces. It's like yes. I don't feel like I get upset at players in the same way I mm -hmm. often would in a different type of multiplayer game. And I think it's yes, just I, the no the, them not having autonomy over the characters. I, I genuinely think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. I, I legitimately could not agree more. Like the the same kind of thing about competition with other people squicks me out a lot of the time about games and makes me feel not necessarily comfy playing them. I don't get that in this one at all. In slightly. Yeah. What am I doing? Um. What one doing? other thing I'll say about the the game is there are these different uh, resources that you have to manage in particular gold you can get interest for every 10 gold you have up to a total of 50 so a lot of people will try and get themselves above 50 and use the interest gold so they can purchase more units re-roll or level up yeah uh and other than that there are kind of interim rounds like the share drafts and combats against neutrals that give you extra resources in terms of items and or units indeed and there's the the classic kind of gotcha mechanic of combining three units into one big unit and then mm. combining those units into even bigger units so there's like there's always a little a little to a lot bit of luck involved for sure uh at, oh, the, very, yeah, at the very least like but the game is it's all about like optimizing what to do when you don't have the luck is what i mm -hmm. find it, it reminds me a lot of roguelikes in that way yeah being you might be screwed over in one way, but then your job becomes find out how not to be screwed over by something else. Yeah. Like pivot, go with the waves, like blow, etc. Like I, I scroll over to another person on the board right here and I see someone else is uh, taking all of my jaxes and then I pivot. Oh, we're fighting. <laughs> oh, you block my stun. 
you got <laughs> big Jack's energy for sure. Oh yeah, my goodness. I, I got the chosen Jacks and I decided. Look, it's a duelist chosen. I'm probably yeah supposed to go into this. I, I apparently I think duelists were buffed, which is I that's what I've been told, which feels wild because I felt strong before. But yeah, there is a new update. New pieces came out. Uh, they they rotated out a couple and they rotated in some more. And mm -hmm. that's I think the excuse that I'm telling myself that it's a good time to start a series on it. Ooh. I mean, it's a good enough excuse. 4.5 has been a huge change. It's true. No. Oh. The lanterns themselves are, oh my god. Finally, I have the ability to unequip items off of a character. Yeah. The the, <laughs> the addition of more, more elements to make games feel uh, different than the next one. Mm -hmm. like, like getting, you'll straight up get mechanics that you won't find in another, another match later. Which yep. I, yeah, I very much like that. Uh, it's not even just that, but even to the extent of like, I feel like I have a lot more control. Yeah. I, I feel like I have more control and as a result, I have now become worse at the video game. <laughs> because, <laughs> because everyone else also has more control. N not fair. Not fair. You're right, we should only let you have it. Yes, only I have the control. So what are you what are you doing? You're doing you're going duelist boy. Oh you're going duelist boy and you got runans. You got spooky Zed in the back. Yeah, Zed has been ridiculous for me so far in this patch. Yes. So I saw a Zed and I had the items for runans. Um just quick yeah. describer of runans. Runans launches an extra bolt anytime you make an attack to a nearby enemy, and it applies on hit effects as well, which matters for Zed because their on-hit effect is they steal target attack damage from the people they hit. It's silly. And if it's not working, you can... I mean, I shouldn't give you... You're going to steal my ranked points if I give you too many tips, but uh, you can convert that set. If it seems like it's not working, you can easily convert it into a Callista with the same items. Mm -hmm. So that's a it, wonderful that position. That is exactly the thing here, right? Like, I've got uh, Callista open because I'm going duelists. So... Yeah. Did we even mention yeah, the yeah, whole modifiers right on the left side? Did we even mention that? Oh, and how no, I didn't. And oh, how no, important that is? So there's the different origins. And what is it? It's origins and classes. So basically everybody I've has an origin. Old tribes. Yeah, that's ba I mean, that's basically what they are if you've played other auto battlers. Everyone has a uh, an origin and a class. And some of them even have, have two classes. And basically the more you have of each one, You'll get different modifiers, like up here I have Vanguard. You get bonuses at having two, four, six, and eight of the uh, of that specific origin or class. And uh, they do not stack if you have duplicates of the same unit, so you have to spread it around. Can't just stick to this. Yes. You can't just have ten Teemos. Be careful. A family can just be ten Teemos, Rita. It, it can be. It can be. Uh, Daddy's at top with four duelists. I gotta let you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're gonna. Yeah, I feel you're like fighting I'm Daddy. I I don't like my oh. team. I I've not really. I'll be honest. I'm going a team that I've never had success with. So that <laughs> cannot really. Uh, I can't imagine this is gonna go very well for me. <laughs> I just. I don't know. I I got faith in you. Well, I I think I have faith in me too if I pivot. But, like, I feel like, because Vanguard is a very defensive, this is not for you, obviously, this is for the people watching, I know you know. Vanguard's a very defensive mm -hmm. uh, class, but if you don't have any damage, what the hell are you doing? You're just going to die to someone who does, like, big HP per second damage. So, you know? Vanguard is very defensive, very, very true. However... There are a lot of very powerful backliners you can put in here, including the executioners. That might be what you're looking for. That is definitely a thought I have. My other thought is trying out Fabled because mm. I I do have, I almost got the two-star Nautilus there. I don't know if anybody else is going Nautilus. I've heard that he is a very good one to rank up high. So I would yes. like to, tr I would like to try that out. That. I got like uh, I think I got some Nico items cooking. Oh, 
Oh, oh, he no, he's got Callista. I'm dead. No! <laughs> Daddy's oh, got Callista. Daddy? Daddy has Callista. Oh, no. I'm hard countered by Daddy. Oh. Nautilus held their own for a significant period of time there. Yeah, but the, like that front line, that Fiora with the ability that makes it so she can't take any damage and then stuns, blocking literally mm -hmm. everything from making it to Callista makes me want to cry a lot. Yeah, it's rude. It's very rude. I can't believe anybody would go duelist. It's just so rude. Are you pivoting to... Hey, I'm... I, ex I'm, I'm fortunate. I, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you put a hat on. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. I'm no duelist. I put a hat and a very small mustache on it. I'm back for another free sample. <laughs> exactly. The I big want to free up my uh, chosen unit. This is a thing I will very quickly. Explain oh yeah. As well, is out of the uh, the tribes and the origins that you can have. Uh, certain times you'll roll across a unit that will have double stack of a single origin as well as its other origin. So like my uh, Jax that is currently on screen has two duelists as well as one divine. Uh, if you have a fated unit, however, already purchased, you cannot find another one. So you oh want to sell them back God. sometimes so that you can find a fated unit that's more powerful or more useful for your build. That is so good that you brought that up because I am totally doing that because I am having a rough time all of a sudden to no surprise to me. Uh, I kind of want to turn my one Wukong into a two star and replace my one that's good. But mm. I, I, I often I try and I try and do that on a wave against the uh, the creeps, you know, against Merc Wolves coming up. I try and save like the big chosen switch for then, just in case it goes so wrong. Hello, two Hello. boys, two boys trying to pivot. Oh, <laughs> if if you also try to pivot, you'll be fine. Yeah. I think Kenan's about to make this. Oh, I think he's gonna ruin Cat. Yeah. Yep. 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 Hey, look, I'm I'm doing fortune, so I kind of you kind of want to lose because of this. I'm hovering over it. This is very much the kind mm -hmm. of game where, especially with two two people, I'm doing a lot of hovering to hopefully show people what everything does. Because there's just so much that you could like, so much minutia you could explain. Yeah, it's a straight up impossibility <coughs> that we are going to be able to read and uh, explain all of this information to everyone. So if you are curious about any of the things that we haven't managed to note in the middle of the video, please do find a guide. I might try and link one in the description down below, but you should be able to find something somewhere to help you out. Yeah. What do I want? What am I doing? What's my goal? Having my literally life? just gone through the searching on Google how to play TFT <laughs> like two weeks ago, there's the information is out there. It's it's out there. It sure it sure is. I mean, it's the the fun thing about it is, if you want to know everything and everything, like it is definitely a better experience. But also, it is fun to just see everything smack each other until it dies. Mm -hmm. So like. You're generally fine doing that as well. Oh no. I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> I made a grave oh, mistake. No. Oh! We're in there. No. No, I... oh, okay. I... I don't know if it's going to be as grave as my mistakes. I. What did I you do? A board full of level ones that do nothing. That is, you know. Potentially problematic. Ooh. Oh, okay. baby. I, <laughs> my mistake was a reverse mistake, I think. Oh, yeah. I got a chosen Nico. Nico. I got it. Mm -hmm. I had to roll a lot, though. My econ went straight into the pooper, but I beat the guy who's uh, win streaking at second, so I can't be that upset. I think it was a, can't. That is probably a smart result. pivot. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Vanguard Mystic Fabled. I heard that's a thing. I've never done it, but I've heard it's a thing. Vanguard Mystic Fabled. Yeah, it totally is. 
Yeah. That, that's like one of the top builds in the meta at the moment. I think it. Don't ask I, me how I know. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's been doing homework. I've just been getting my face rolled in ranked, <laughs> and then learning from the ouchies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Effectively. I, I, I have to eventually look things up because there's only so much I can learn from ouchies before I start feeling so bad about the ouchies that I am no longer learning. Yeah, I can I can understand that for sure. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on now. Come on, Nico. Come on, Nico. I'm very successfully lose streaking. If that, uh, <laughs> if that you, you, you gotta turn it around at some point. Otherwise, it just. Oh, that's. You forgot that's the, the big step thing. I always forget. You forgot yeah. the big part. Is Cho'Gath a uh, epic? He is. Rip. See you in a while, buddy. Yep. I'll try and stay alive. Three fortune. Yeah, I mean, you're just sitting on three four. Oh, it's you're trying to hit that three slayer. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm right? That's the big thing. Like, the slayers that I want, both Trindamir and uh, Olaf, are both uh, four stars. Yeah. I got killed by the. Oh, no! Oh, no. Huh? That's, that's grim. That is grim. Uh -oh. oh, we got trouble, folks. That that is in that is in un, an understatement. Ouch. What do you got? What do you what do you got? What do you got in there? Oh, chosen slayer Zed. You gonna sell your uh, your other boy? Do it. Yep. Yeah. And quickly. Quick, get quick, the quick. Items. The good thing is the items are that you can put them on in the fight. This is obviously not for you. I know you know the items mm -hmm. you can put on in the fight. They're one of the only things you can do to have some control over the exact fight. So, if you mistakenly don't get anything put on, oh my god, daddy, why? It's not the end of the world? Jesus! Oh my god! Yeah, he just, uh, he's just, oh, there's no choice. There's no, ch no chance. What happened to you? My entire soul. Oh no. Oh no. Do you have a pike? No. At, at this point, there's no point you'd need. No, I guess you'd need Pike and Olaf. You could, you can hit six without, uh, without everybody. Oh, that's neat. I don't think. I don't know. It's look, it, it's looking rough for sure. Mm -hmm. Take, take my energy. I, I appreciate the energy. Oh, can I think you, I get. I think you got this team. Win. You got this team. Oh no, but I just took my fortune off the board! You... Oh, that hurts. Oh, that what? hurts. Oh my god. <sighs> this is bad. Well... Oh, that's that sucks. <laughs> that was gonna be my payoff. Yeah, you would've got a... That would've been <sighs> huge. Oh man. Do I? Four ninjas. Three. Oh my god, I actually could have even had the fortune and the assassin. Oh, that makes it even well. that it makes it even more painful. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. At least before it wasn't my fault, and now it definitely is. Say it's the it here, this is what you say. N A ping. Mm. N A ping. A you're right. I look. I can't play on this ping. I can't even control any of my characters in the middle of the fight with this ping. Exactly. They're, it's like they're doing. They have a mind of their own. Mhm. Mm it's on. almost like they're automatically battling in some way. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Why like this? No. Look at my board. Oh. oh. Just by a millisecond. So rude. I need that man. I need that big boy. Don't nobody take that big boy. So can't. Oh. I think I'm just gonna go for an ultra stat. I wanna Zed. cry. Yeah. Valid. That's all I can do at this point. When all else is lost, place your faith in Zed. All else, yeah. All else is starting to feel like it is lost.
The good news is you don't have any uh, uh any ranked placing that is going to be impacted yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You no, 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 no. We're coming out of this tailspin. I, I will accept none of this, uh, th th this, this, oh, woe is me situation. And that is O O O W O. Yeah. We <laughs> are going to be fine. Quicksilver's on Zed. It's all good. We're coming back. All right. I, I have faith. I think you can make this, uh, make this happen. If I can ever just find a Cho'Gath, then my build might activate. Four Mystic, four Vanguard. I can't... Oh, Rhapsody, why? Oh. Why? Well, Kill Please win. Please win! I don't want it to be me! Well, I'm not a I'm not attacking your Zed with my Oh no, Rhapsody. Why did you why did you have to get matched into Why did it have to be me? I'm glad it was you. Why? <laughs> oh no, uh, no. Not necessarily demonstrating uh my, my best foot first here, but this does give me the ability to also co-commentate with Rito and Rito's it's, build at the moment. It's true, you can help me, uh Ooh, I love that double locket of the Iron Solari on Brawl. It's cute. If I can get a, uh, a Cho'Gath to go up there, then that's uh, that's something. Because right now, mm -hmm. there's I, I'm debating even putting somebody up there because it's a 375 shield. I don't know. I feel like this is a bad idea, but I'm I'm just gonna do it once to see how it goes. It's it's a good shield. If uh, if Yumi could also still get uh alt charge whilst being hit on the shield it would be great oh at the moment no. it's, it's fine it saps up damage it's true oh man this person is one off of a level three tom kench oh boy that would be really rough for your team to deal with yeah uh, so tom kench is a champion that takes 15 reduced damage from all sources but it increases per their level 15 at base level 25 at level two and then 75 at level three so sometimes enemies will just tickle Tom Kench for a while. Oh. Oh. <gasps> that there is. There you go. Oh. What a get. Uh, can I point out that Daddy has never been, uh, never lost a game still. This is mm -hmm. largely concerning. I've been, I've been, I, I did look because I was like, I've been having a tough time in my solo ranked when I was. Yep. Honestly, I was doing pretty well, like, right before the reset. So I looked up some stuff, and I was... The the number one thing that I saw people say is, go duelist, re-roll... Literally re-roll until you get a Yasuo duelist chosen, and then just re-roll mm -hmm. until you, you know, get everything you need out of that. Yeah. Uh, but... And it seems like that may be what this guy is doing. I, I find it kind of funny that you may end up using that Nico's help to three-star your Nico. Should I do it? No. Wait. Oh, sorry. I thought they. I saw, thought you just got two Nikos there. I mean, look. If a three-star Nico is huge, that and three-star Nautilus. If you can go that what? with the Fable build, incredible. <laughs> Did you see that? I just <laughs> got three Yumi's. What the hell? I'm not gonna. I, I'm scared. I. I feel like I don't know if it would have been the difference to three-star that Nico. I feel like I might win this fight anyways. There's a chance. There's That's a chance. Good. You have the ability to leave it in your back pocket. Yeah, if I can get three Fabled, Nico's ability gets supercharged. Mm. She does crazy damage if we can get that. Yeah, I, I think that, honestly, I think it might have made a difference. Unfortunately. Oh, that's okay. You're still alive. <laughs> it's true. But I want to thrive. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry, best I can do is alive? What do you think? Nico's help the Nico? Uh, I mean, I'd I'd probably try and go level, uh, like level up to at least five. Uh, sorry, seven, which you're already on. Never mind. Um, to try and get the Cho'Gath. But yeah, Nico held the Nico. I think. I I think that I might stop some bleeding if I do this. Mm -hmm. I'm also bringing that back. I don't love my so, Nico uh, items. I mean, they're not bad. The Hextech Gunblade is really, really good because it means as soon as she's involved in the fight by just herself, she has the ability to kind of just get it all back. Yeah. Um, 
I think the only change I would make to her ionization myself, and this is not from like a pro, but like I really like Jeweled Gauntlet. Just yeah, she does I would have preferred damage. I definitely would have preferred that if I had it. Oh, please, at least let me get a couple. The amount of Next damage. Yeah, the amount of damage you take is proportional to basically how badly you got beaten. So mm -hmm. it's important to not lose hard if you're oh. going to lose no i hate to tell you the unit that you just fought like the the person you just fought rather uh they are going an extremely meta build aurelian's soul is so powerful oh he got aurelian soul elder what yeah uh it's the aurelian new soul. it's the new vagar it is 100 percent. he's disgustingly good Vagar is dead. Long live Vagar in Aurelian Soul's skin suit. No, it's Daddy! No, Daddy! Daddy, why? This is absolutely like the worst case scenario for me because they're all so spread apart. Nico's gonna do jack squat. Mm hmm. This is just. This is. This is gonna be a, a loss and it's a brutal loss. Like, he got the duelists. He's. Yeah. There's definitely a couple very meta builds being played here. And they are destroying yeah. me. It's oh, God. It, it is unfortunate uh, that sometimes it feels like if you're willing to paint by numbers and do like the build that you're directed to in terms of duelists or something like that, 50 games in a row, you can win a lot of the time. Um, yeah. But I really just want to play with the new units. I want to do Slayers and I want to do... Well, I mean, I, I did just try and focus on Zed, so I don't really have a leg to stand on. I mean, he's only half a new unit, though. He got changed, He, for those who don't. You, yes. He got changed. He was in the game before. He had a, uh, a tribe called Shade, which is no longer in this patch, and instead picked up Slayer. I want to roll um, oh. I'm just going to say quickly on the side, <clears throat> because it's important to your builds and we haven't necessarily directly explained it. Uh, the trait that Rito is trying to exploit here is Fables. When you have all three of the Fabled units, their abilities and imp uh, sorry, their abilities are empowered from Tales of Their Past Valor, which literally just means the ultimates that they try and cast have an extra effect. Yeah. And it would it would make a big difference, but I just cannot find HO. Oh, that was big. That was huge. I stopped the, uh, the Aurelian Soul. Mm -hmm. That was huge. Take that, big Uranus. I live another day. If you get in the top very, four, very well done. you get ranked points. If you get in the bottom four, you lose ranked points, depending on what place you're in. Daddy finally fell. Oh my <laughs> God, the fall. I mean, the fall of Daddy. <gasps> Who got him? We in there? Maybe. I honestly, I don't know how big of a difference it's gonna make, but I think it might make a big difference. Uh, oh, yeah, that make a huge difference. I got him. Specifically just having Nautilus stun the whole board at the same time. Oh, no, wait, that's... that's uh, Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath. Yeah, Cho'Gath. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Oh. He gives him... A, so, Nautilus gets a shield now. That's pretty good. Okay. I I would happily switch out a uh, my Wukong for, like, an <laughs> Orn. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. No. Come no, on. No, Do it. Alien. No. Oh. It's not happening. Oh, Chugot? it's. It. It. It was pretty Nico good. Was trying. I mean, oh, trying this is best. about as well as I could expect going against perhaps one of the most meta builds that exists right now. I got points. I got points. Hell yeah. And honestly, it's a pretty good item for me. I don't know what everybody else got. Blue buff. Blue buff for a duelist is good, but it's better on other stuff, I'd say, probably. What is yeah, it? I've, oh. I've been having a little bit of a hard time using blue buff outside of... Trindamir loves blue buff. That's one I do know. Has a uh, 50 mana ability that is just slam and try and kill someone. If it works, do it again. I mean, are you... That's... That's uh, Darius, I thought. 
Oh, Darius, you're right. Sorry, I got confused. I love the Slayers, right? Yeah. What am I doing? I'm kind of. I'm thinking of maybe just like re-rolling, hoping that uh, I like can just stop the bleeding. I think if I, I, I just want to place higher. I don't care. I'm not gonna win this game. Mm -hmm. I don't think against all of this. Oops, I just. Hey! No, oh, I didn't get it in in time. I, I, oh well, I'm gonna. I, it's Daddy. Great. I'm dead. Uh, that's fun. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see how Daddy do this time. Uh, Daddy's been tailing off. Daddy has been tailing off. Oh, Nico! That was big, but it's unfortunately, of course, it had to go this way. I got bopped by Meta King's Supreme. Uh, mm -hmm. Nico did 11,000 damage. My next highest was Wukong with 700. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's... I, I love that it was Nico's help that tripled your Nico, and Nico helped so much. Yes, Nico sure did do that help. But anywho, I guess we, uh, that's... Uh, we exit to that lobby there. Hell yeah. Oh. That is going to be it for our first match. Yeah. But hey, I guess this was a video, uh, not just us having fun, so it's an outro. Thank you everybody for watching. Team Fight Tactics. Uh, there's a link for the other channel and a playlist, I presume, down below. Mm. Where you can find Rhapsody Plays on YouTube. Since it's been a, like, a hot moment, do you want to say what they can find on your channel? Yeah, sure. Uh... Rhapsody Plays, you can find me at youtube.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Um, doing a lot of roguelikes and card games, uh, especially soon there is going to be a lot of Monster Train stuff as the Last Divinity DLC comes out officially. Uh, for the moment, I'm doing a lot of Slay the Spire Downfall. The modded expansion pack allows you to play as a lot of the bosses, the uh, the previous bosses, the Slime Boss, your Guardian, etc. They're really, really well designed as well, which is what makes me so excited about playing that. But uh, yeah, they... those two and Atomicrops at the moment, I think. Yeah. They update that. They update downfall so frequently for a mod. I it noticed. Is, it is insane. I there was just a new character, and then I went on holiday, and I came, came back, and, and there's there was a, a new, new character. character. Exactly. Again. Exactly. That's crazy. That is crazy. I hadn't even finished my old meal, but yeah, the thing that uh, the thing the, I'm not gonna say this surprised me, but it delighted me because. You know, when you see a mod update a lot of times very, very quickly, sometimes you get a little nervous. Like, uh, is this is this going to be necessarily well tested and kosher and everything's fine? Uh, it is the smoothest release of a new character into the downfall <laughs> that I have ever experienced. Smoother and it than has some such actual a updates. Unity. Yeah, exactly. Not kidding. <laughs> it, it has such a unity of its its like cohesive design. I'm really, really taken aback with it. But uh, hey, for the same reason, would you, like to, would you like to tell the people on my channel what you're doing at the moment? I'm a Call of Duty pro. You can find me at mm -hmm. Retromation, uh, wait, Phase Retromation uh, on thank you, all thank platforms. You. Go to rep that clan tag. All platforms, roguelikes, 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 roguelikes. That's what I play, Retromation, on all of it. Uh, not mm -hmm. part of Phase, unfortunately for them. Thank you for watching. Oh. <laughs> That's going to do it. More team fight tactics at some point. Bye. Adios.